Hi, I'm Roy Long. I run Sky Purple Cloud, um, which is a cloud service company based in Oxford. Uh, at Sky Purple Cloud, uh, we aim to secure, optimize, and automate the cloud for customers. Uh, so I've been working with Aviatrix for about five and a half, six years. Uh, when I first encountered Aviatrix, it was to solve a problem that AWS had with their transitive networking. Back in, back in 2017, 2018, there was no transitive networking through VPC peering. And I had a big problem with uh, routing traffic to a customer. I, I worked with a big um, pharmacovigilance SaaS company and their customers needed to get the data from in AWS out to their locations, which we couldn't do without transitive networking about five and a half, six years ago. And since then that solutions evolved over time and worked hand in hand with the components within AWS. And we found it invaluable in certain use cases to actually have Aviatrix working within all our AWS architectures. So one of the challenges our customers have, have been having is around the cost of the NAT gateways and the traffic transfer in and out of their environments. Um, we've closed that gap initially with Baltics as an egress filtering solution. Uh, that takes the cost of the NAT gateways out of the picture. But what it also does is it means we have to then route that traffic through to a single gateway in a single location. With the Aviatrix, what we can do is replace the NAT gateway, but we can also move that egress out to each of the individual VPCs in the AWS accounts so we can maintain the same architecture and functionality we have within that gateways but eliminating the cost of the NAT gateways. So one of the key issues that we've seen is around network and data transfer and securing the network traffic from customer data centers into the cloud. Uh, traditional ways for us to close those gaps is with firewalls, uh, what we would kind of refer to as uh, last generation firewalls now. The, the next evolution of that was to move to cloud native firewalls, which we implemented and we, we worked with a couple of customers and a couple of um, solutions with, with those style solutions where the, uh, the, the firewall was installed into the cloud. The firewall was installed as a cloud native solution, which understood all of the components and artifacts within the cloud, but it was still uh, like a bottleneck. It was still routing the traffic through to a, a network firewall and then analyzing, inspecting the traffic there and then forwarding onto the destination. Uh, obviously with that solution, you're not sure that you're inspecting everything. If you've got NAT gateways, if you've got internet gateways and somebody does something stupid, install something, where you don't know it's actually been installed. Uh, that's kind of where the, a little bit where the cloud security posture management comes in, but it also, you know, it still means you have to then route that traffic to a central location, a central inspection point, which limits what you can do with your architecture as well. With the new distributed firewall model, what you're doing is you're making sure that security is in line all the time. So you don't have to route to a single inspection point you have the security, the network, the firewall in line in every single connection. So if something does, somebody does something stupid, but you know you're going to inspect that traffic wherever it's going, wherever it's been. Um, we are seeing um, customers without the expertise to manage their cloud environment, specifically around the networking security, are requiring simpler solutions, which their solution architecture who don't come from like cloud native or even networking backgrounds require that expertise and that input to be able to understand and manage and simplify their own architectures. So with, with solutions like Aviatrix, which supports Terraform and all the auto automation processes, we can then go in and we can automate the whole thing so that not only does it simplify the architecture for the, for the uh, solution architects, but it also allows us to deploy it much quicker and so without any of the manual errors that normally happen.